Question number 18. Um, a loop of wire carries, uh, lies in a magnetic field. There is a loop of wire over here which is lying in the magnetic field directed into the plane of the page. Okay. Loop carries a current in the clockwise direction. Okay, fine. So, this is my current here and this is my magnetic field. The magnetic force acting on the wire tends to, what will be the direction of the magnetic force? So, if I consider at any point over here, so use your, which rule will you use? You can use your Fleming's, uh, uh, first what you do is let, let us consider something like, uh, you kept a magnetic field, you have a current. Let us say a tangent here, try a tangent over here, which means it appears to be a straight line, a straight current carrying conductor. So, in this case, you observe that the magnetic field would be in this direction, sorry, force acting on this loop will be in this direction. Using your Fleming's left hand thumb rule, FLHT you have to use. So, you see that the force will be acting in this direction. So, if the force is acting here, what about here? Here also it will be acting like this, here it will be acting like this, here it will be acting like this. So, what will happen as a result of it? So, at every point the force is acting outwards, which means the radius of the string should increase, right? So, now let us look at what will happen. It should increase the radius of the loop. Okay, let us move on to the next.